Today, we visit a website titled CrowserPUA.com. It is a website that follows the author Crowser on his PUA journey. And on April 4th, 2010, he wrote an article titled A Couple of Recent Facebook Closures. It goes over a dating pattern he decided to implement in order to increase the likelihood of going on dates with women he thought were attractive. It goes as follows. There's an indirect open. Then he disqualifies the mate. He relies upon getting social media, commenting on a playful tease on a post, and then when she's online, DMing her. Let's take a closer look at these points and break them down just a little bit. So he approaches a woman and he stops her. Then he makes a statement of interest. So for example, you're blank into something interesting. So if you're walking and you see a beautiful woman and let's say she has a straw hat on, you can say something like, excuse me, miss, I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but I noticed your hat and I think it's really cool. Where'd you get it from? Right, so that's an example. But the key points that he wants to point out here is that the goal is to have a legitimate reason for stopping her. You don't want to stop her simply because she is beautiful. That would be weird. It'd be like, oh, you're beautiful. Yeah, no shit. I mean, that's probably why you're approaching her. Plus, she could easily be put off by this and just cause her to be like, eh, okay, thanks, bye. It's important that you have stopped her and you let her know why and that you think the, the reason that you stopped her is interesting, right? It's something about her and shouldn't necessarily be her that's interesting. Something about her. Now on to the second point, you disqualify her as a mate and you want to qualify her when you close. So this sounds like the classic push-pull. You want to push her away by stating you don't date girls because of blank. And then you pull her in by stating something that you do like about her, right? So it's kind of like conveying in a way that you don't like X about her, so you can't date her, but you like Y about her, so that gives her a chance. Okay, the straw hat lady, right? So let's say you notice that she had bands on all right so you say wow i really like your hat but i noticed you have bands on and i don't really like dating girls with bands on because it never goes away but because of your hat you know you get a chance i give you a chance it's about being playful and teasing her and it's not necessary to use that example you can push and pull in any method you choose you just have to be confident right as long as you're confident about it it'll work and then at the end of this interaction you want to ask her for her social media right you're trying to close you know move on with the day but before doing that, you have to put social media. So in the article, Krauser is focusing on Facebook and that's fine, but just make sure you get a social media that on something that you use. So for example, Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, MySpace, who knows? But the point is, is that you're asking for a social media because it's a nice way of getting in touch with her again in the future, right? So it's, it's better to get a social media over a number because a number is a direct line of communication to her and upon first meeting a stranger, it's very unlikely that, she, that you know she'll give it to you. Plus, according to Krauser, it conveys too much interest. Getting on social media is also to your advantage because you can control your own social media, right? So you can highlight the best things about your life, you know, the cool things you might do or the people you might know. It will speak for itself. And it's also a nice way to build attraction and comfort with a chick. It's kind of like a, a passive indirect way of doing it, right? Now that you have her social media, you want to engage with her in a type of way, right? So one example was that you can playfully tease her by posting a comment on one of her photos or maybe her videos. And the point is, is to rebuild the connection since your first encounter, right? Again, make sure you're being playful. And then lastly, maybe some time has passed, maybe not, it's up to you and your preferences and what you yourself find out that works for you. You want to DM her, right? But Crowds are saying that only DM her when she is online. She has to be online. So the point of the DM is to get the date. Crowds are continue to say that, you know, you continue the playful banter with her and then you hint at a date idea or suggestion, but you don't actually invite her out. It's not only after time has passed since hinting at the idea of the date, that you go ahead and invite her. This is Krauser's plan on getting women he's attracted to to go on a date with him. And it's important to think of this as a routine that he or you or I can implement on any woman. Sort of like a rinse and repeat. Like, okay, I see an attractive girl, I approach her, I push and pull, I close with the social media, I engage with her later, I DM her, and I get the and I get the date. According to Krauser, he's unsure if this is a profitable way of doing things. So I challenge you to figure it out. I want you to go out there and see if this works for you or if it doesn't and leave what you find out in the comments below. However, I do think this is a pretty solid plan, right? But I also do think this is a solid plan. However, there are some things to look out for, right? Some girls won't want to, won't want you to approach them. Some girls won't want to hand out to social media. Some girls won't want to go on a date with you. Overall, it just becomes a number game, but in order to increase your numbers, you have to go ahead and do the work. So over the long haul, it would seem that the more you do this and the better you get at it, the more likely you'll be able to go on a date with the girl you like. So thanks for stopping by today, okay? Don't forget to ring my like button and subscribe to my bell. And as always, thanks for watching. I recommend checking out Hustlers University. It's an education platform online where millionaires teach students how to make money. So if you're broke, you're poor, if you got nothing better to do, 
want to build up your skills, learn how to market yourself, I'll definitely check it out. The link is in the description below.